Hello friends. Today in this video, we are going to discuss about lighting arrester. In which first we talk about how lighting arrester constructed, then we talk about why lighting arrester required in substation, and finally we talk about how lighting arrester works. So let's first start with construction of lighting arrester. So as you see here. Inside the lighting arrester, this is a MOV block. That means metal oxide variator block, and it is a made up from zinc oxide material. This MOV block having a one unique property that if rated voltage coming across this MOV block, it provides the high resistance between its contact. If voltage surge coming across the block, then it provides a low resistance. If I tell you in a simple language. That if this MOV block meant for 11 kV system and 11 kV voltage comes across this block, it provide a high resistance so that no current pass through this block. But suddenly voltage spike or surge come across the block, then it provides a low resistance and allow to pass the current from it. And depending on the system voltage, MOV blocks are connected in series. Greater the system voltage, more number of MOV. Need to connect in series, and this is the how lightning arrester are constructed. So, for lightning arrester used to protect a system and substation equipment from the lightning surge. And the lightning surge means if the rated voltage suddenly rise in very high amount, it calls the lightning surge. So, reason the behind the lightning surge is lightning strike. On the system, as lightning strike on a system, it will induce a voltage surge. And if this voltage surge come inside the substation, it will fail or damage any equipment in the substation. So to protect that, we need to use lightning arrester. So first equipment in substation, which is a lightning arrester. One terminal of lightning arrester is connected with the phase, and another terminal is connected directly to the ground. So in normal condition, voltage across the lightning arrester is a rated voltage, so that it provides high resistance. And due to that, the current does not flow inside the lighting arrester, but directly go inside the substations. But if the voltage surge coming to the substation, the first equipment place in the substation is lighting arrester, and it will directly arc that spike of voltage as you see here and ground the surge voltage, and it not pass surge to substation. So whatever spike coming to the substation, which is grounded, which is grounded by this lighting arrester. And it's not allow any surge to flow or allow to flow inside the substation. That is why it will protect equipment to damage or fail from lightning surge. So this is the how lightning arrester works. So friends, so friends, if you find this video interesting and learned something from this video, please share this video with your friends and colleagues and subscribe to the channel and subscribe to the channel. So friends, now onwards we are making a video in English as well as. Hindi language. So if you are an English viewer, don't worry. We are making video in English also. So from now onwards, all video are coming in the two language, Hindi as well as English, and both video are uploaded separately on the channel. 